I would also like to uh, request uh, Dr. Sudhir Kumar Garu, Register and Director of AgHub, uh, to kindly come on stage and uh, give us insights. It's my pleasure to be here for this inaugural session on the workshop Building Innovation-Led Entrepreneurial Pathways for Accelerating the Sustainable Developmental Goals. As you all know, this is the year that India takes G20 as presidency, where there are several engagement groups like B20, T20, C20, etc. In tune with this broad thinking, we at PJTSU saw an opportunity for conducting this one-day workshop. So thanks to Tadas as well as Kalpana Shastri for making this workshop. So thank you, sir. And here we are in this inaugural session. Professor Jayashankar Telangana Agriculture University was established in 2014. It is the youngest agriculture university in the country and it aims to become a center of excellence and one-stop destination for agriculture, entrepreneurship, encompassing education, research and extension with all its faculties, farmers and rural communities towards greener prosperity and to create, foster and present to the world entrepreneurs who will strive to work for ecological and nutritional balanced future for the state, country and the world at large. The university has established AgUp, a Section 8 company in hub and spokes model where the hub is at Hyderabad and the spokes are at rural innovation centers. And the main aim is to encourage agri-food startups and aspiring student entrepreneurs. The rural innovation spokes promote rural entrepreneurship among the farmers, rural youth, rural women, and FPOs in Tai 2 and Tai 3 cities of Telangana. So we are very much thankful to Dr. Chintalagaru for your financial support for this establishing the HAGAB at the university. So till date, HAGAB has nurtured more than 45 plus food and agri startups, more than 1,500 vision thinkers, 500 plus ideas, more than 10 rural enterprises, 20 grantees, more than two seed funded startups, and impacting the lives of more than 5,000 farmers in the state. This workshop provides platform to propose process, pathways, and interventions needed to unlock the potential of innovation in agriculture and scaling up with inclusiveness. The shareholders present here today would bring meaning to this event by sharing their rich experience and knowledge about different types of agricultural innovations with examples, case studies, criteria for success, the enabling environment and associated factors. These solutions would resolve the common challenges of all the G20 countries such as food insecurity, gaps in global value chain, crop productivity due to climate change and employment generation. This workshop engaging with all the stakeholders, policy makers, academia, innovators, incubator fraternity in this region and farmer is the ideal platform for understanding the needs, blocks, challenges and the balanced economic growth and sustainable development. What we needed is the major four efforts that is sustainable environment, sustainable production, sustainable nutrition and sustainable livelihood. The government, private sector and all the stakeholders need to collaborate and maintain harmony with nature address inequality, create resilient, sustainable global value chains. The collaborating of this ecosystem players is perhaps the first step in this direction. Research innovation system for developing countries and its global development center and IKP Knowledge Park is a clear sign of putting it into right practice. Sir, we warmly acknowledge the presence of Gareth Owens, for his interest and sparing his time to be with us today. We would be happy to explore more linkages in future, especially with research and academic programs of this university. Having Dr. Chintala as a keynote speaker in today's session sets the tone for the theme of this workshop. Sir, truly your support, guidance, especially in the area of innovation-led pathways and building agri-entrepreneurs in this part of the country has been path-breaking and university truly acknowledges your inspiring and leadership role. We are also thankful to Dr. Arvind Kumar, our friend and supporter from 
of PJTSAU. Surge of presence is indicative how both global, national and local programs work together in agri-food sectors. The approach of ICRISAT in imbibing the sustainable developmental goals into its program is worth emulating and a useful model. We are look forward to hear you from this about your experiences. So with these few words, I once again take this opportunity to welcome you all to all this green campus and look forward for fruitful deliberations, for fruitful deliberations in this one-day workshop. So thank you, thank you one and all.